Yeah, you know, this thing's... How did you smell it? I don't know. Because it was in front of my face. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome everybody, I'm Deandra. I'm Darius. We're Night's Tracks and we're here at Epcot at Walt Disney World for Festival of the Holidays. We have our passports. That's oh. your cue. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> we have our passport. Um, there's so many holiday things here at Epcot. If you want to get your money's worth, but you don't want to have to pay extra for like Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, yeah. this is the park to come to. There are so many holiday things. Um, they've gone with a bluish theme this year for the florals. And so now we're reddish. And now you got red over here too. Oh, I wish there was more red. Yeah. Dang. It's okay. We're gonna it's find okay. some other stuff. We'll be the red. <laughs> I'm not wearing any red. That's okay. Well, okay. It's just, it's, it'll be all right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is, is, is this a mistletoe? No, that's also blue. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's go have some fun. The most very brand new thing this season for Festival of the Holidays is gonna be the overlay with Guardians of the Galaxy. They sing Run Run Rocket instead of Run Run Rudolph. And it's a very fun, it's just, it's not a visual overlay, it's like a song overlay, so. Own, but then you add the holiday overlay. It's just a blast each and oh, every yeah. single time. Oh, I yeah. am Groot. <laughs> they, they sing that at the end of the song. Um, anyway, so we're gonna head into the World Showcase, and there is a cookie stroll where you go around, and you get cookies, and you, they like stamp your thing, and then you get a free cookie. And we did it last year, and it was really gross. A whole lot of cookies. Oh, it was it was not good. A whole lot of disappointments. A lot of disappointments, and I don't want to be disappointed again. Um, we'll link that video down below. For some, you might like it. It may be the best thing you'll ever have. Right? <laughs> it, I mean, it was fun going around and getting stamps, but right. we're not going to do that again. Not we're going to... Um, <laughs> I want to go to Japan because they have the sushi tree, which is the best sushi festival dish. Um, and they also have like a winter drink that I want to try. I don't know. We're just going to, I think there was something in Mexico that you wanted, right? Yes. I want to go to Mexico and get myself a pomegranate margarita. All right. Now, should we start a series of a drink? On like a playlist, we start a drinks playlist. Where we just go to drinks playlist. Drinks. I mean, we could. Sound like a fun thing to do. Oh, what do y'all think? Sounds like an expensive thing to do. Please leave us a message <laughs> down below and tell us would that be a good idea. And here in the Odyssey building is where you can meet Santa. Another fun holiday activity. And they also have lots of sweet treats in here. It's actually called Holiday Hearth Desserts. But then in here, there's Santa. Uh, you can find meeting times in the app. Pomegranate margarita from Las Posadas Holiday Kitchen. Sweet and salty. Sweet and salty, just how a it's margarita good. should be. Really good. Yeah. I forgot what kind of rim it is. Hibiscus. Ah, hibiscus, hibiscus rim. rim. Is is that like a, a pine tree? What? I, I don't know. You got a little. Christmas tree in your drink. <laughs> Merry Christmas Eve. I love the garland of Mexico. It's so festive and colorful. Another cool thing that Epcot does during the holidays is each country has something like a performance or a Santa. And Mexico, there is going to be a show right over here. Mariachi band. They play the holiday favorites. It's very fun. Um, we'll stick around for a couple minutes. We might catch it. All right, this is not for another 45 minutes, and we're gonna need another drink by then. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> around Epcot and All of World Showcase is gonna be Olaf. So last year um, we did the Olaf scavenger hunt. We bought the thing. We weren't impressed with the prize, so we're not gonna buy it again this year. But we will look out for Olaf in each country. Although we weren't impressed with the prize, we still like the game. Yeah, the Because it was fun. something to do. Yeah. Yes. Norway's decor is very, I want to say wintry. They have like icicles and stuff. 
or like ice chips on their decor. And look at the cool Santa. Wait, is that like a, a these are cooking tools? Oh yeah, because we're in front of the bakery. <laughs> I love how they tie everything in together. A little bakery. Over here in China, you're gonna find the performers that celebrate the Lunar New Year. Uh, last year, it was the dragon, the really cool dragon puppeteer people. They don't come on for a while either, so, but I think this year they're having musicians. We're gonna end up catching one of the shows. We have to, like, it's just statistically impossible that we walk around this whole place and don't see a show. Very first nutcrackers have their origins in a German fable. Wow. So wait. Germany is already so ornate, and then you just add the garland and it, it just fits so well. Italy looks nice. I know it looks washed out right now. That's just because the sky is so gross. I'm sorry about the lighting. Back here is where La Bafana does her performance. Aww. She was the funniest one last year. Ah, uh, but we missed the performer again. And this is the line for one of, I would say, probably the most popular thing here during Festival of the Holidays, Candlelight Processional. This is a standby entrance, but there's also an entrance on the other side. You can buy a dinner package with reserved prime time seating. They have celebrity Oh, they're going in. They're getting ready. Nice, nice. Uh, but they have uh, celebrity guests, narrators. We've done the candlelight processional. Uh, we did it last year. It was kind of cold. We had to bundle up. It was amazing. It's warm last year. Amazing show. Or, I mean, it's warm this year. <laughs> um, it's like church. So, uh, a Christian church uh, with like a Christmas Eve service. Um, but with music. I mean, lots of music, and like a narrator that tells the, the story of Jesus, and it, it, it was okay. I'm glad I did it. Um, you fell asleep. I was resting my eyes, I don't know what she's talking about. It was, a, it was a good little nap. <laughs> um, will we do it again? I don't know. If there was a cool celebrity host that we were like, hey, we really want to see that person. Um, maybe. I think uh, we experienced it, and that's good enough. It'll probably still be like around. Like, yeah, if we're walking by. We might stop. Yeah, I might stop and you know clap along with the music. The choir is so good. They are. Oh they my gosh. I give it to them. They're, they're, they're pretty good. Oh, big, 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 big tree. The American Holiday Table has some good stuff. They've got some turkey, catfish. Olaf is here in America with the Kwanzaa. It might have been Festival of the Arts with the chocolate flight. I don't remember, um, but it was phenomenal. So now each holiday festival or each festival that comes along, we just go back and hope that it's there again. So bring me my chocolate flight. <laughs> We've made it to Japan. My place. I know this is your place, but today this is my place for food. You want some treats? I want some treats. I want that sushi tree. I want the, I don't know how to say it, but I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to get the sushi tree. Um, I don't want soba. Do you want soba? I'll do the Christmas punch. That's what I was, yeah, that's what I'm after is a Christmas punch. All right. All right, one Christmas punch, one sushi tree. Do you want a mochi? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. This tree is different from last year. I hope it's still good. Oh no, it's so different. I'm sure it'll be great. It's okay. And then the holiday punch. Here, you were super excited to try this, so you try it first. So it's like fruit punch. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm not gonna like it, am I? It's not bad. Not bad, okay. Not bad. Tastes like fruit punch. <laughs> Hang on. Get, get. So gorgeous. You gotta face the wind. Disappointment. <laughs> I am disappointment. Dang. Nah, it's okay. I'll drink it for you. I got you. No. Okay, let me try the sushi. Hang on. You might like the sushi. Yeah, it's different, but it might be good, you know? Right. I 
I didn't. I couldn't find chop chopsticks, so nobody come for me, okay? Another disappointment. It's okay, but we still. I well, I like this area a lot. I don't know. You guys have to come in and try it yourselves. You might like it. One last effort. Find something that I like. We're going to France. Yeah. France? Yeah. France. At least there I know I can get the good martini. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we caught one of the performers. It's the France Santa. Yeah. He's not performing right now, but he was. He's just taking pictures. La Pierre Noel. We saw him last year. He was so fun. And I think it's the same guy. Yes. Yeah, it is Joy the same Hugh guy. Noel. What did you say? Joy Hugh Noel. Joy Hugh. Joy and Noel. I'm Merry pretty sure Christmas. what I said was right. You did great. I'm pretty sure I was right. <laughs> Frozen and hot chocolate. Frozen hot chocolate martini. And they have a spiced pumpkin punch. And I can have that one because it's made with oat milk. I think we should get one of each. Yeah, maybe maybe no whipped cream. Can are they making it as they go? Yeah, see, see, the. Okay. Is that inside? I have no idea. Here? We can at least ask. Let's go ask. Okay. How beautiful! We got no whipped cream. I think there still might be some dairy in there, but I mean, we won't be drinking a whole thing of whipped yeah. cream, you know. Do that. that. And then the pumpkin thing. Hang on. It looks tiny, but it's actually pretty good size. Oh. And cheers. It's <laughs> pretty good for frozen I, hot chocolate. I could drink seven of those. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this, I don't know if you're gonna like this. Okay. You. It's made with oat milk though, so. It's in a mini. Mm hmm. The spice. Spice. I'm, let me guess, this one's all me? Oh, you know it. Alright, but let me have one more drink. Oh, no, you don't spill on me. Our frozen is beating us. Oh, did we catch the Santa? We're over here in the UK. I think we caught the UK Santa. Oh, the toy soldiers back open! Yay! <laughs> Classic English Christmas. Now, my friends, as I said, jingle bells. Very good. All right, we've officially got some rain. The holiday voyagers, the Canadian holiday voyagers, are great. If you have time, we were voyagers. But if you have time, definitely stop and see them. They had a lot of like different, I don't, like there was rock, there was, sound like they were from Scotland a little bit. There was like all kinds of instru instruments. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's a lot of stuff in there. Though. Yeah. Another fun holiday thing here at Epcot is the living with the land. They have an overlay with lots of Christmas lights and Christmas decorations and, and ornaments and it's so fun. Welcome to our glimmering greenhouses, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture illuminate the wondrous gifts we receive from the land. Join us as we ring in the most bountiful time of the year. Citrus, like the oranges grown here, are common in Florida. But in Northern Europe, where fresh fruit is rare in winter, they're much harder to find. Bark of cinnamon trees, like the one growing beside you, is used to make cinnamon sticks. Do you like eggnog? You can thank nutmeg for its signature taste. And the last thing we're gonna talk about for the holidays here at Epcot is the ball show. This is called Beacon of Magic, starting at sunset every day. Celebrate the spirit of the season with a spectacular dazzling light and holiday music display. They have different shows with different light sets and different animations and you really shouldn't miss it. Um, you can come out here starting at sunset 
relax for a little bit, get off your feet, go find a seat. And then once you've seen all the shows or until you're content, then you go and see Harmonious Fireworks. I don't know, it's, it's a really good end to a holiday day, you know? Thank you so much for trekking with us around for our holidays at Epcot. Um, sorry we didn't catch more storytellers. It was just kind of a drizzly, gross day, and they yes. don't like to send them out in that, so... I enjoy the weather. I mean, it's great. <laughs> I, I am happy, but... Uh, it's not good for the... Uh, not for the performers, no. The, the, the Santas. The Santas, so. the performers, the, the dancers, the puppeteers. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah. Um, but definitely check out our other video from last year. Mm -hmm. um, some things are new, some things are different this year, but pretty much the same vibe. And also, this show is new. Yes. This is great. This is fantastic. Um, they have music overlay in the front of the park way up there, which is why we chose this spot, because no copyrighted music. Yay! None of that <laughs> night. <laughs> I, so, love, I love how it's just, how they were able to put the lights in certain spots and just make it all come together. They do. It coordinates with the music and everything. It's fabulous. Don't miss it. Mm -hmm. So if you are on a budget and you have a park ticket and you can't afford, you know, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, this is a good option because there's so many holiday things and you're going to learn about so many different holidays and there's Christmas stuff everywhere. Mm -hmm. So we're going to head home before it starts raining really hard. It's coming our way. That's Florida for you. Right? Yeah. Drink the water, drink the coffee. <laughs> what? You need coffee, don't you? It's what I make some when we get home. Okay, good. I'm yeah. going to make a gnocchi. Yeah, I am. Uh, my eyes are not. They don't look awake let's on, have on a, the screen here. Let's have a pot of coffee, some gnocchi, and a Christmas movie. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> I'm you. never in a Christmas I know, you're never in a Christmas movie mood. I will go into the bedroom and watch a Christmas movie, and you play Fortnite, and then we'll both be super happy. <laughs> thank you so much for trekking with us happy holidays to you and yours no matter what you celebrate thank you for being here with us to celebrate and we'll see you real soon bye, bye. bye.